I don't think it's possible to be in a relationship with a guy and as a woman you're the more successful person like you're the breadwinner I think it might work for a short period of time but I think after a while this built up resentment just like it explodes and it becomes super ugly and messy I've dealt with this twice in my life before with two different relationships and I don't know you want to like be there for people and you're like not there in the relationship for the money but once you start bringing in money and you're buying things for the household you're buying things for your partner and they just see the success it, it, it's just I don't know if it's just like a natural thing for them to just develop this resentment huh <laughs> what's going on everybody and welcome to another video don't forget to like share and subscribe tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever i upload new content and without further ado let's roll that clan i don't think it's possible to be in a relationship with a guy and as a woman you're the more successful person like you're the breadwinner i think it might work for a short period of time but i think after a while this built up resentment just like it explodes and it becomes super ugly and messy. I've dealt with this twice in my life before with two different relationships and I don't know, you want to like be there for people and you're like not there in the relationship for the money, but once you start bringing in money and you're buying things for the household, you're buying things for your partner and they just see the success, it, it, it's just I don't know if it's just like a natural thing for them to just develop this resentment, jealousy and just like almost like a hatred for you for trying to provide nice things for them what and for yourself and for the household and if you guys have kids you see a lot of women and i'm talking to the ladies and the guys a lot of men are the breadwinners a lot of men pride ourselves in making more money than a woman but so many women they want to do what men do until it's time to do what a man does. See, ladies, you have to pick a struggle. Either you want to be at home or you want to be at work. And if you want to be like a man, then you can't be complaining when your man is asking for things. See, it's all fun and games when you want to be equal to a man until it's time to be equal with a man financially. Yeah. It's easy to say, I want to be equal with a man. I want to have the same thing as men have. I want to do this. I want to do that. But as soon as you get finances, oh, well, my money is my money. My money is my money. My credit is my credit. My car is my car. But you're in a relationship. But yeah, you want to say, okay, what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. The entitlement. See, this is the thing. Women love entitlement because it frees them from accountability. They don't want to be accountable for anything. They don't want to be accountable. They want to be an entitled, delusional woman who just lives life regardless of what the woman says or regardless of what a man says. I'm not wrong because I'm a woman. See, it's all fun and games until we talk, we talk about money. See, this woman is like, I don't want to deal with a broke man. I make more money than a man. Men... When your woman makes more money than you, that is never a good sign. Because what happens is that when a woman makes more than you, she's older than you, she's... If you give a woman any type of power over you, she starts to look at you as a child. And then your relationship goes from boyfriend and girlfriend to mother and child. You don't want to be in that mother and child relationship with a woman that you're trying to date. Because what's going to happen is that that woman is going to start resenting you. She doesn't want to provide for her man. The man is supposed to provide for her. So if you are in that situation, 
where that woman or your lady is making more money than you, that is a dangerous position to be in as a man. Because then the disrespect comes in. Then the child comes in. You get treated like a child. You don't get treated like a man. You don't get respected like a man. But on the flip side, women want to be a man until it's time to be a man. When it comes time to talk about money and talk about what are you going to do and how are you going to pay for this, women no longer have their hand down. And see, men don't ever give a woman any type of power over you. Ever. Because in this dating market with these modern women, you are only setting yourself up to fail. You're setting yourself up to fail when you're broke and you're trying to date, when you don't have your own car, don't have your own crib, don't have your own money, don't have your own responsibilities. So then you're out on the dating market being treated like a child because you don't have your own. And I'm going to leave you with this, guys. Be better. Don't get better. Don't get better. Get better. If you're a guy who doesn't have your own, get your own. If you're a guy who can't afford certain things, work hard. This is the reason why, as a man, your purpose comes first. I'm going to say that again. As a man, your purpose comes first. Your woman comes second. Your family comes second. Your friends come second. Your employment comes second. The number one, the numero uno thing that a man needs to focus on in life is his purpose. You have to live a purpose-driven life. Once you start living that purpose-driven life, everything else will fall into place. Anyway, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go to that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until next time, peace.